Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today, you're gonna see how to save top command output to a file. Linux top command is uh, highly used by system administrator to display system statistics in uh, real time regarding system uptime and load average and used memory and running tasks and so on. However, besides this real time viewing of the running system, top command output can be saved to a file by using a iPhone B flag which instructs top to operate in batch mode and iPhone N flag to specify the amount of iteration the command should output. So we are going to see many examples to redirect the output of a top command to the top.txt file in a current working directory. So the iPhone N argument will be used to send only one snapshot of the command to the mentioned file. So let's start. So in this file, the iPhone N argument will be used to do send only snapshot of the command to the mentioned file. To read the resulted file, we can use the command line file reader utility such as cat or less. So I'm gonna use a less here. And read the resulted file here. And also to grab a file iteration of talk command, execute the following command. And then in order to display only the number of running tasks from the resulted file, use the grub filter. Here we can see only the running tasks from the resulted file. To take a snapshot of a specific process in a top utility, execute the following command with the process ID. To get the process ID of a running process, issue process ID of command against the name of the running process. Here I am issuing a cron D process ID of command and then the output of the file will be exported to cron.txt now let's see what's in the cron.txt file now using a for iteration loop we can display a process statistics via process ID each two seconds are shown in, are shown in the display the output of a loop can also be redirected to a file. We will use the same cron process ID as shown in the output above. So now we used a for iteration loop here. Now we are going to direct a loop output to a file. Loop output has been redirected to a file. So now let's see here we can see the same output so these are just few examples on how you can monitor and gather system and process statistics via top command so thanks for watching this video hey, if you like our channel please don't forget to subscribe for more videos please do visit www.linuxhelp.com and also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries.